now again i am repeating recovery from deadlock there are two methods one is the process termination second one is the resource preemption in process termination again two things one is the about all deadlocked processes and second one is about one by one in the first one about all deadlocked process processes means it about all the processes involved in the deadlock that is costly and poor utilization of resources what are the resources used by the processes terminated processes and that is the waste so that's why the poor utilization of resource resources and second one is the cost you go for the second method in process termination the second method is about one process at a time until the deadlock cycle is eliminated about one by one first you about one process and verify whether the deadlock is eliminated or not if there is a still there is a deadlock again you remove you terminate one more process again the deadlock is there you select one more process and terminate it like that until the cycle is eliminated the you terminate each and every process so this is the sec within second method you about one by one in the first method about all deadlock processes in the second method about one by one this is process termination how to choose the process to about the order so choosing up the process to terminate the f there are several factors the first factor is priority of the process priority of the particular process second one is how long process has computed how much time it is uh, it spent and how much uh, longer to completion and resources the process has used how many resources are used by the process and resources uh, process needs to complete still how many resources it needs and uh, how many processes will need to be terminated this is a cascading effect so once you terminate the process then there, there may be a chain of process you need to terminate so how many processes will need to be terminated and the last one is is process interactive or batch verify whether the process is interactive or batch these are the factors to choose for about the transaction or the process and second method is resource preemption select the victim resource that is the minimize the cost so once you select the victim as a resource and preempt that resource once you preempt that resource some of the process may terminate you can roll back all the processes so those processes can return to some safe state and restart the process for that state so once you select the victim and preempt the resource roll back what are the affected resources affected processes and all those process return to some safe state resources and process return to some safe state and restart the process for that state and starvation here there may be a chance for starvation means same process may always be picked as victim the same process you picked as a victim so then that that is the starvation that includes the number of rollbacks in cost factor the number of rollbacks is cost factor so the deadlock recovery from deadlock means there are two things one is the process termination second one is resource preemption in process termination one is about all processes second one is about one by one now the second method is resource preemption in this select a victim and then roll back all the processes and resources to the some safe state and there may be a chance for starvation this is end of the deadlocks thank you thank you anand thank you very much